Hey everybody, I came right back out to the garden because something else has just sprouted and you might want to see it. This right here is a pheasant back or dryad saddle mushroom. It is a polypore that grows, uh, I think, in eastern Canada, northeastern United States, maybe in other regions as well. Uh, mostly on dead or dying trees. As you can see, obviously, this tree is dead. It was cut down last year. Uh, it did actually, it was sprouting mushrooms before, so I'm thankful that the stump is still here. And it's still giving. These mushrooms, once again, are a polypore. Uh, what that means is if you look at the underside of the mushroom, you can see multiple number of pores. They grow on dead or dying trees. If you find them on the ground, that's not what these are. You want to leave them alone. And they grow in mid-May to about the end of the month. When you want to pick them is roughly when they're about this size. If I put my hand under here, you can see that's almost the size of my hand. You don't want them much bigger than that. These are okay, but you'll notice if you're lucky enough to find these, that once they grow to a certain size, they will get very tough and grainy with a fair degree of um, barkiness, if you want to call it that. Basically, the bigger they grow, the tougher they get. So you want the young, tender ones. So I've got quite a few growing on this tree here. I had one yesterday. And when you pick them, I'm just going to take this one off for now. I should have brought a knife with me. You pick them. If you smell them, they've almost got a very mild cucumber-like smell to them. But that's basically what you're looking at there. They are fairly delicious. They do have a pretty mild flavor. I'm just going to pull this one off as well. Oh, we got the whole stump. So what you want to do, you want to take them in the house, you want to clean them up, and I'll show you how to cook them. So it's a very quick process here with the mushrooms. Uh, they've just come out of the yard. All I'm going to do is cut off the nasty bits. Go in with my parry knife. Just go around the edges. Just take off, like I said, the, the bits that don't look that great. And just trim up the edge. You can trim down the, uh, the dirtier edge of the stalk. And in the case of, like I said, these, uh, these pheasant back, they will get bugs. This one's not bad at all. This one doesn't have any bugs but they will get bugs in these little pores. So if you want, if you feel comfortable, you can just scrape that off. And I leave all that skin on the back on. Now I know a lot of people like to wash their mushrooms. Don't wash your mushrooms. These things have a very high water content. When you wash the mushrooms, all you're doing is taking away the flavor. At the very most, dampen a towel and just very lightly go over it like that. Take the dry end and there you go. Another trick you can take, say kitchen towel, you can moisten that, you can throw the mushrooms inside. I know people do this with the smaller ones and you can sort of whirl it around like that, get the dirt off. But that, as you can see, is pretty much clean. Take that little bit off of there. And that's ready to go. This guy here, obviously, 
quite a bit more stock. You don't really want to eat that bit. I bet, like this one's fairly soft in the middle, but once you try cutting into it, that's pretty tough. And that's what I'm saying. Like once they re reach a certain age, they do get woody, I think is the word. And you can see how tough that is to go through as opposed to that. So chuck that bit out. Don't need it. That's pretty much okay. Yeah, that's borderline. If there are no bugs in there, you don't really even need to scrape that if you don't want. If you want to eat it, go for it. But with all wild mushrooms, cook them. Do not eat wild mushrooms raw. And do not eat any kind of wild mushroom without confirming what they are. Very important. Do not take my word for it. Do your own research. These are almost foolproof, but I will not accept responsibility if you eat a mushroom and it's not the right one. Make sure you confirm because there are poisonous mushrooms that will kill you. The word of the day with mushrooms is, if in doubt, throw it out. If you can't confirm the species, it's just not worth the risk. These do not hold up well to stewing. Don't try to stew them. They will get extremely tough. The best you can do with these, just slice them out that thin and do a really quick saute. Ready for the pan.
wild pheasant bag mushrooms, and a creamy blue cheese sauce. See you next time.